بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to Dream Made Easy This is your brother Abu Muhammad In the last few lessons we looked at the Nun Sakin and Tanwin rules We found out that after Nun Sakin and Tanwin Whatever letter that comes after that It will affect how the Nun Sakin and Tanwin is pronounced And the effect, was of, the effect is of four types Al-Ivhar, Idgham, Al-Qalb and Ikhfa Today we're going to start the Ahkam al Mim al Sakina The rules of Mim al Sakina We said in the Arabic language a uh, letter can be mutaharrik, letter has fatha kasa dhamma, or letter which is sak, letter that does not have fatha kasa dhamma and has a sukun. So when meme here has a sukun, meme is sakina, depending on which letters that come after that, these letters would have an effect how we pronounce the meme as sakina. The effect is of three types. Number one, al idram effect. Number two, al ikhfa effect. Number three, al ivhar effect. Now, what's the al idram effect? Al idram effect just means when meme is sakina, it meets another meme. So idram is only one meme. So in the idram, when it comes to meme, a sakina is only one meme, one letter, which is a meme. So meme a sakina, it meets another meme. What do we do? For example, here, al-ta'amahum, we have a word that ends with a meme a sakina, and the following word, word starts with a letter meme. What do we do? So instead of saying al-ta'amahum, min, hum, min, instead of saying two memes, we're going to merge this meme into, <coughs> into the second meme, which is al-idram. Al-idram means merging. So, أطعمهم, then hold that second meme. أطعمهم من, أطعمهم من, أطعمهم من. That's it. So, the first, the first rule of meme a second is idram, which means to merge. So, meme, if it means another meme, just merge the two meme, make it one meme, and just hold the meme. Number two, when meme a second, it means aba. So, al ikhfa here is only one letter. Al ikhfa rule, meme a second is only one letter. Al-Ghaam one letter, Al-Ikhfa is one letter. So what do we do when Mim Asakina it meets a bar? We, pronoun we pronounce the Mim Asakina in between Ibhar and Idgham. What does that mean? We have here, Tarmihim, Tarmihim bihijara. Tarmihim bihijara. If we pronounce this word in an Ibhar way, which means to just touch the Mim, then let go, it will be like this. Tarmihim bihijara. Tarmihim bihijara. Tarmihim bihijara And we don't want that We don't want to just touch and let go Now if we do the idgham way Similar here To merge them Ubi tarmihib bihijara Tarmihib bihijara We don't want that We want in between So what is How do we do that? So we close the two lips Tarmihim Tarmihim Then just stretch a little bit Tarmihim bihijara Tarmihim bihijara Tarmihim bihijara Tarmihim bihijara That's it. So when Mim Masakin meets another Mim, hold, then stretch a little bit. Now the third case is Al-Ivhar. With Mim Masakin and the third case Al-Ivhar. This just means when Mim Masakin, it meets all the other letters. Sheen, Saad, Ha, and so on. What do we do? We do an Ivhar, which means to make it clear. Touch the Mim, then let go. Just like the Nuna Sakin, Surat al -Ladina. An'amta, an'amta, same thing. We just touch and let go. Now, the ivhar can be in one word or it can be in two different words. The first word ending with the mim sak and the second word starting with uh, any of the 26 letters. So here, surat al ladina an'amta, an'amta. So just touch, let go. If mim meets all the other letters, just touch and go. An'amta, an'amta. That's it. And lakum dinukum, lakum. Lakum dinu, lakum dinu, lakum dinu. That's it. So here we have the three situations. Number one, when mim is sakin, it meets another mim. We merge them, make it one 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 letter, one letter, and hold hold the sec the the mim is sakin. So this mim would enter this second mim, and we we'll just hold it. Al uh, in between idram and ivhar. Uh, so just touch tarmihim, then stretch tarmihim bihija. Tarmihim bihija. That's it. The last one is al ivhar. And al ivhar is just to touch and then let go. If mim sakin meets the rest of the letters, 26, touch and let go. That's it. But we have to be careful when we do the ivhar, two letters. That's wow and fa. Because mim is makhraj, it's articulation points from the uh, lips. Mim, ma, mi, mu, am. So mim is from the two lips. So is wow 
well, we make a circle, well, and also uh, a fa, fa, because these two letters <coughs> close to the meme, the makhraj, we have to be careful and not merge the two when we're pronouncing it. So for example, we don't say um, <coughs> this example here, alayhim wala dalin. Alay is alayhim wala, alayhim wala, and not alayhim wala, alayhim wala. If we say alayhim wala, we're merging the meme into a fan because they come from the same makhraj point. So we have to be careful not merge the two. So it doesn't sound like alayhim wala, but alayhim wala, alayhim wala. And the last one is wahum farihun, wahum, wahum farihun, wahum farihun, not wahum farihun, wahum, wahum farihun. We don't merge the two. So, Mim Sakin meets another Mim, merge them. Mim Sakin meets Aba, hold and stretch. Mim Sakin meet, meeting the rest of the letters, just touch and let go. That's it. So, these are the Mim Asakin, Ahkamu Mim Asakin. Inshallah, in the next lesson, we'll start the Lam Asakin rules. How Lam is pronounced when it meets different letters. Until then, Jazakum Allah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.